Hi guys, I'm Edwin. I'm Willa. We're 57th Avenue and welcome back to our channel. The sun uh, is out, so we yes. had to take that opportunity because I don't know, Winnipeg has been having really crazy weather. Yeah, it's yeah. been a very long time, but we're happy to be back. Yeah. And we bring you guys a very interesting video that Willa is going to introduce. No, you're you're meant to introduce it. Oh really? Yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> so uh, when we started this channel, we had a vision, right? Mm -hmm. And our channel is called Fifty Seventh Avenue. So for every category of content that we put out, we're gonna name it an avenue. Mm -hmm. So we're introducing to you guys her secret avenue, and basically we're gonna be talking about everything female. female. Yeah. So in her secret avenue, we're gonna be discussing everything to do with hygiene tips for women skincare um sweating and how not to sweat yeah just like the, the very awkward uh conversations, conversations that people don't really feel comfortable having we we'll really having think them. some of the things that i've learned growing up i learned from my friends and i didn't learn from like adults that's who true. already been through it so i feel like <clears throat> you know what if we can have an open discussion i feel like other young youngings can come to our channel and be like oh my god this is what they went through or this is the this is what not to do and what to do or how to avoid this and you know what I mean? So yeah. her secret avenue. I guess guys are welcome to watch too. Yeah, you can watch actually. So yeah. you can take care of your lady probably. Am I right? Today's topic is going to be birth control. I'm going to be talking about birth control today, our experiences, um, the different types, um, what it is, what it is. So birth control is basically any method that you can use to prevent pregnancy. This could be the pull-out method which most people use. <laughs> well, honestly, like I don't know what she's going to say, so I'm reacting the first time yeah. as well. We yeah. haven't really practiced it. So basically, you have hormonal methods, which are pills, shots, the skin patch, and the vaginal ring. Um, this is basically birth control that uses hormones um, to prevent pregnancy. You can get hormonal IUDs, which is the... It's like it goes... <laughs> but you you insert it into your uterus basically some prevent fertilized eggs from implanting into the womb others cause the mucus in the, in the cervix to become thick and sticky making it harder for the sperm to move and reach the egg and then you could use um barrier methods which is the condom as well as female condoms i don't think a lot of females use those unless i'm just moving with like ideas from back home but i've never heard like one of my friends saying oh i'm using the female uh condom is that what they're called yeah i think so <laughs> mm -hmm. so um we just feel like this is a very important topic to be had mm -hmm. because generally like the stigma around the whole issue like around sex as a whole right and especially like i know from african homes even when we're in high school like um all the white girls would be like yeah my boyfriend is coming over to sleep at my house and we'll all be like so imagine like your mom doesn't even allow you to have a boyfriend let him, let him come to your house and then she finds out like you're having sex or whatever it is so i feel like young girls are very awkward or like they feel embarrassed to even mention they don't know who to talk yeah to. they don't know who to talk to and it doesn't help that i don't know if you guys have ever been to like a hospital like back home or like and you go and say you want like um a morning after pill like they'll make you feel so embarrassed in some cases they won't even like help you out with what you need so yeah it's just very important if anyone doesn't know anything about it i guess we're here to inform up to inform you. and educate um a lot of people back i don't say back home but that's where we're from so that's what we're gonna use i feel like a lot of people back home think birth control is just for having sex but you can a lot of people use it to regulate their periods uh control how much is released because sometimes it changes your period load what do you call it period and like some cases, light regular yeah in some cases yeah. it even stops it though. yeah and yeah. then sometimes it actually makes it heavier so some people who've got like heavy periods use it to make it light or to stop it because some people can go for like three months without having their period and then it comes back and then some people use it to actually reduce acne i'm not saying everybody does but i'm just saying some people use it like to regulate the periods and to um as an acne regulator i think it's also very important to mention here it does not prevent from stis okay guys so both of you 
<laughs> make sure. <laughs> oh right, you and your partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you're tested because. But it's also 99.9% .9 effective. So meaning, if you use a condom, it doesn't mean that you will not get pregnant. Some people have gotten pregnant while on birth control. Um, like while being on the peel. Maybe the peel. <laughs> the peel. <laughs> There's something that is 100% effective though. What? Abstinence. <laughs> No, generally speaking, like I feel like you should also just like mention okay, it. Yeah, just Since we're talking about sex. contraception, just don't have sex. And obviously, you don't have to worry about. You know, there's so many STDs that are just like mushrooming from. Like you don't know where it came from. <laughs> Stay safe, kids. <laughs> now, I guess we're gonna talk about our experiences. Right. Yeah. Um, I've tried the pill. <laughs> I thought I had to put something. Oh, very right. okay. Yeah, and uh, I guess I'll insert a picture of the one that I've tried. And basically, it's a combination pill with um, estrogen and progestin. <laughs> yeah, and then there are other pills that are like progestin only. So basically, how it works is you take the pill for 21 days, and there, and then the seven days. That's when you're meant to get your period since your cycle is 28 days long. So you take pills for 21 days. Wait, start again. Okay. What? No, because like the seven. Okay, so 21 days of a pill, and then there's another seven days which are sugar pills, right? You call yeah. Sugar pills? You don't have to take them, but that's the week that you are meant to get your period. Okay. If you want to skip your period, you take the 21 days, and then instead of stopping, you just start another pack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then. Isn't that dangerous though? How is that dangerous? I don't know, like, because there's just so many hormonal things that are happening that you stop the, mm, I guess, natural thing that's supposed to happen after 20. Apparently, it's not even a natural period once you're on the pill. Really? Yeah, like I was reading the other day, it said something about, like, it's like it's not a natural period. So I, I feel like not. once you start, like, injecting hormones in your body, you've like, already, things. like, misbalanced. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, so uh, basically mm -hmm. I took it for like six months, seven months, I think, mm -hmm. yeah, and um, the nurse when I went, she's like, this is like, like it works, you know, it doesn't have like too many hormones, like she's, she was like, it's a starter pill, but it just works the same, and she told me that you might expect to have some weight gain, um, she was like, your skin is already nice, so like you're cool, but like people with acne tends to clear the acne. Um, but yeah, after taking it, I didn't experience many um, side Sweet effects, mm -hmm. except my boobies were really sore. Oh, and your ass got fat! Oh yeah, then I gained hella weight, but which was nice because I was trying to gain weight. As in she got it. thick with three C's on the behind. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I mean... Oh yeah, you had like no side effects though. I guess no, that's it, right? Yeah, I didn't. I had a different experience. So I recently started taking birth control. I I guess I'm a very curious person, and I'm, I was really excited. Like I told Eddie, oh my god, oh yeah, my like I'm so excited. I'm gonna see. I'm going to see the doctor. I'm gonna talk about like my. Um, I mean, what type of birth control that I want? Okay, so now let me explain why I didn't ask for the pill. So I say. Anyway, I didn't ask for the pee. That sounds so weird. Stop! It sounds like something else. I know. Oh, yeah, it does sound like something else. Okay. The reason I didn't ask for that is because when you're on the pill, you have to take it at a certain time. Every day. You have a two hour window. You I have a one hour, hour window. It's two hours. It's one hour. It's two. They, they literally say, take it in the one hour. Well, when I went to the doctor, they said you have to take it in the one hour. Now, the reason I didn't go for that, um, why I didn't want to start with that is because I'm a very forgetful person. So meaning I have to be, I, I either have to take it in the morning or I have to take it in the night. However, I did purchase the patch. I thought this would be very easy to take because you know what, the only thing that you have to do is, I'm going to take it out. You rip this, I don't know if I should open it no. just yet, right? So you open it. And then there's basically like a little patch that's like pinkish. It's supposed to be nude, but I guess nude for like not our skin tone. For white people. Yeah, it's not black people oriented. But anyways, you open it up and you stick it. So there's three places that they advise you to stick it on. Your arm, the back. Turn around so I'm showing you that. Never mind. The back and your butt. Oh, and your abdomen. So you can, I guess, put it on your butt. Or here. Right here. Um, I decided the first time I tried it we went to the cabin we went out like after exams and I was like you know what I'm not going to be in a bikini it's not like 
right no one's gonna see my booty so i might as well put it on my butt now the moment i put it on my butt it like i think it was like after an hour honestly my butt started tingling it started tingling and like i think it was my right it was my right that i put it on right my right leg was tingling my left leg wasn't doing anything so basically it was tingling and then it started to hurt i don't know if like all the hormones were just deciding to like flood into my body but that's what it is you basically put the patch and then the hormones leave from the patch to your booty or your arm or whatever and then they go places so eddie was like calm down you need to wait for it to enter i was like okay whatever next day we went to the cabin it wasn't much it hurt a little bit and then we came back from the cabin i remember i had an, a job interview the next day and i just remember feeling so nauseous like i don't even it felt like it was right here and i was just gonna like throw up immediately and there was no other reason but this like it didn't make sense anyways it just felt like i was gonna throw up and then i started crying hysterically ask eddie like i was basically crying for no reason and i was like because i wanted to film the experience and i was like i'm so sorry eddie i messed up our channel i'm literally the worst person ever so it made my hormones go and um it made me feel nauseous and then i ended up oh the shadow i ended up taking it off so that meant it meant that i had it on for about four days four days and then i got my period after three days after two three days like the next day by the way let me just explain the next day i felt fine i don't think i will go back to it because I, I basically stopped and didn't use it again only because i feel like it was too strong for me if i was to start like slow i would start using the pill first because i i guess i had a different doctor she was just like what do you want to use i was like the patch have you ever used birth control i was like no okay she signed it and that's it she didn't explain what it was to me what it would do to my body the side effects or oh, maybe it was like um actually but yeah still even then she should have explained to you because she said you didn't use it yeah when i got there she's like okay so what do you wanna sorry use? it's getting like darker now yeah um, but it's fine <clears throat> i guess we still see our faces mm -hmm. what do you want to use then i was like i don't know what i want to use then she went through with everything so that i could pick but still like you said the patch but you had to use birth control before yeah and i feel like she should have made an effort to be like yo and you should have made an effort to ask questions i tried she literally said i was like so what are the side effects because i thought they would be different and i'm assuming they're different she was like they're the same the risks are the same blood clots i was like okay i'm not trying i'm not trying to get blood clots mm, price point we didn't talk about like oh the right price. yeah oh oh if you're yeah. um if you're um what you call it your what you call it insurance insurance covers it then that's good for you apparently ours actually does cover it but then you have to pay for it then claim the money they didn't do that they're just like it doesn't cover it really yeah i don't know why i had like a really crappy experience really? with my birth control yeah maybe they so, didn't like you um <laughs> that's highly possible so the pill i feel like is the cheapest maybe condoms are cheaper but <laughs> the pill is the, the cheapest because you can get well here in winnipeg you can get um pills worth three months right for 30 dollars for 40 40 dollars this was 30 bucks for one month for one month never again mm -hmm. i'm not nah it's too expensive it is like it's easier to use in my opinion or the injection but i don't like needles and that just feels like it's so easy to just stick on oh and you can take showers however i'm not gonna lie it's not like i was scrubbing that area anyway i was i was avoiding that one like section of my butt like that one little tiny thing so i went around my butt but I, i'm assuming you can shower with it like so advice on what to do ask uh, questions especially if it's like your first time do your best to find out everything because it's going into your body you know so you need to know how it's gonna affect you how like how everything's gonna be working once it gets to sorry your guys body. for the darkness because i feel like it's getting dark now but you know it's fine hmm. yeah and i think do your research on different types of birth control and what you feel like is going to be appropriate for you the morning after i've never taken that because i just feel like it's so strong what is it it's basically like um i don't know it's just this i don't know it's just a bunch of hormones that they pump into you and you have to take within 72 hours of unprotected sexual intercourse yeah but obviously they do mention that that's not a 
uh, an effective form of birth control long term. Yeah. Like it's like a mistake thing, then yeah, go for it then. But yeah, having that, especially but having that to like actually active, having to rely on that, and it's expensive. Yeah, it's like it's uh, super expensive too. Forty bucks, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is like forty bucks. So you don't want to do that. You might as well just like find something that you can use long term that yeah. works for you. So make sure you talk to your doctors, make sure you do your research, and make sure you talk to your partner. I don't know how important it is to talk to your partner, but I just feel like if you're talking to your partner, it's just important to like... For what? I don't know, have a conversation. I'm not saying they will like, whatever it is that you plan on doing. I just feel like it's important to have that conversation. Like, hey, I think I'm going to start birth control, because some partners don't like birth control. Why? Do they want to father a child? No! You know how some people are like, I don't want to use a condom. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and that's a form of birth control that is non-invasive. It doesn't affect your word, your body, your body. Excuse me, it doesn't affect your body. It's non-invasive. Like it's a good form of birth control, but no one likes to use it. Mm. <laughs> Stop. So just have a conversation, cause I don't know. I just think it's important. Go to a doctor that you trust. Me, yeah, I never tell my partner if I'm like switching or starting or. Anyways, yeah, that was our take on birth control. Please, please, if you're being, se I mean, if you're sexually active, make sure you get tested. I guess this is another part of the conversation. Go get tested with your partner. Yeah, together. It doesn't matter if you've been with each other for a year, six months, three months, <laughs> one month. <laughs> oh, go get tested. Even if it's not with your partner, go get tested alone. Listen, but if you're getting tested alone, <laughs> yeah that's not taking care of you like is he also getting tested and you're seeing his results no I, I, my point is what if he doesn't want to get tested with you then why <laughs> the question is why i don't know i'm just saying make no sure wait you mean like going to the same clinic together it or like they don't want to get tested at all i don't know i just meant like even if you know how some people may not be with one partner which is fine to each their own you can have sex today, it's a different one, one night stands here, one night... Well, like, it doesn't really matter what situation you're in, just make sure you're getting tested and getting yourself checked. Mm -hmm. Am I making myself... No, up? that makes sense. I'm just saying, like... And with the partner thing? I don't know, like, just make sure you're taking care of yourself. Like, the, the person can say, oh, I went to get tested, and then they give you false results. What happens then? No, so that's what I'm saying, go check get her. <laughs> Be clean. Out in the streets. Especially this summer. <laughs> it's summertime, so... You know, all of you wildlings, make sure you're practicing safe sex. Anyways, uh, it's been nice hanging out with you guys and talking about birth control. Yeah, we really hope you enjoyed it. And if that's something you want us to like, I don't know, talk about, like if I change, if I find something that works for me, I can come back and talk to you about it. Um... <laughs> okay, guys, yeah. it was really nice uh, getting back here. Um, if you want to chill with us again, hit that red thing. If you don't, that's cool.